Hello and welcome to this course on fundamentals of automobile engineering. After two lectures, we will be doing a quiz, and depending on the mark that you will be getting in quiz, your scorecard will be generated after this course. And 60% is the final uh, uh, marks. The clutches are very crucial part considered when when we uh, say. For example, like transmitting power from engines, if this is your if this is your car, and the engine is mounted in front with the drive shaft extending into the back transmission. With this is the uh, part that is called differential. And this is your engine. Now the main purpose why clutches are there. There are two main purpose. The first one is suppose you are driving your vehicle and you need to stop. As in for a momentary stop, you are not uh, stopping uh, for a quite long time. You are stopping for a momentary period of time, and then you do not want to. So now cut off your engine because starting engine each and every time will be a tedious task and that will consume a lot of power. So what you need is that your engine should keep on running while uh, your car needs to be in a stop position. So if there is continuous rotation of flywheel and and because the shaft is always connected to it. It won't be possible for you to stop the car and uh, turn on the engine at the same time. So for that, we need the clutches. So what clutches do is basically act as an intermediate between your engine and your gearbox. So whenever you need to uh, stop for a while, you kind of disconnect your engine with the drive shaft using the clutch. So that's the kind of engagement and disengagement. That causes the drive shaft to rotate independently from engine. We will show you the whole working of uh, clutches in the video. Vehicles of today normally use a clutch to transmit power produced by the engine to the gearbox. The vast majority of cars and motorcycles rely on dry friction clutches, which will be explained in this animation. One of its components is the flywheel. The flywheel is connected to the engine through the crankshaft. The flywheel features external teeth that are used to start the engine of the vehicle. When the car key is turned, the engine is started with the help of a pinion and the battery. After a small amount of time, the engine runs on fuel. The flywheel is equipped with a friction surface. The clutch disc has friction surfaces too. When the friction surface of the flywheel and the friction surface of the clutch disc are brought into contact with each other, the clutch disc rotates. The clutch disc is made of several components, of which the important ones are the hub, which is riveted to the disc with a cover plate, and the friction material installed on both sides. In the past, friction material was made of asbestos and other harmful substances. Today, friction surfaces are made of ceramics and substances that provide a high coefficient of friction. In general, Cars for daily use are equipped with clutches that feature springs to damper shatter, to achieve an easy operation and to reduce the impact to the gearbox at the engagement. The clutch disc is connected to the gearbox through the gearbox shaft. Consequently, the wheels of the vehicle only rotate when the flywheel is in contact with the clutch disc.
the pressure plate is needed for engaging and disengaging the clutch disc. The pressure plate is riveted to the flywheel. As a result, the pressure plate rotates when the flywheel rotates. Let's take a closer look in order to see what happens in this important component. A clutch release bearing is positioned in front of a diaphragm spring. When the release bearing is pushed into the spring, the inner portion of the spring is moved in the direction of the clutch disc, whereas the outer portion of the spring is moved in the other direction. Consequently, the clutch is disengaged because the pressure disc is mounted in a flexible manner to the casing. So, the clutch disc can be locked between the flywheel and the pressure plate when the release bearing is released and it can be released when the bearing is pushed into the diaphragm spring. The mechanical energy produced by the engine is transmitted to the gearbox when the clutch release bearing is released and the clutch disc is engaged. Now from the video, you saw that you need to put a clutch box here. After that, there is a gearbox assembly. The description and the working of gearbox we will study in the next lectures.